So my favorite thing about having the Chromebook is that I'm able to keep it with me all the time and I'm able to use it wherever I am. The Chromebook makes it nice and easy. We all have our own. Just pull it out of your desk. I like having the Chromebook because I find it easier to connect with the teachers and the students. Everything is always accessible to the students and always accessible to the teacher. It's revolutionized it for me. My teaching practice has completely changed. They're eager to learn, they're eager to use their devices that they have and that they bring in. So I wanted to uh, see if I could you know, harness some of that enthusiasm. It opens up a world that you can expose kids to that before was very limited to whatever you could just kind of project on your screen. Now you, you give choice uh, in the hands of the students. The teachers are learning as well as the students are learning. Having the Chromebooks allows us to give everybody access to differentiated learning. Everybody can have a different program running. They're able to receive differentiated tasks from me in the exact same format as somebody else's. It looks the same. It's on OneNote. It's on the same page. It's really fast to log in, just typing the password and you're in, and then you don't have to waste working time. If I'm on my way to like sports practice, then I can just do it there, or like after dinner, I can just go hop on my laptop and it's just very quick and easy. It enables you to take a student-centered approach because the students can choose what they want to work with at which time and that makes it very simple to run your classroom. It's really brought me forward in my teaching practice. Um, it saved me a lot of time and um, for marking and assessments, lesson planning, I can't rave about it enough. Before the Chromebooks, we had to work together, like having our friends come over to our house to work on a project. And with the Chromebooks, we were able to share our work and they're able to work at their house while we're able to work at ours. Like less papers and stuff and more like everything's on there. So I find it easier to get um, your own like personal feedback to improve in. I haven't been asked for a pen or a pencil in a long time. They're always prepared. They have what they need. They no longer have to worry about, oh, I forgot this at school. I can't do my homework. They always have a means and access to their education. One of the first areas that I noticed that was different was the fact that uh, when students hand assignments back into me, we're allowed to kind of comment back and forth with each other. And I had a handful of students who rarely talk in class or will rarely put up their hands. They would send me a little message. And now I can see what they're kind of thinking through, but they wouldn't be brave or strong enough in class to put up their hand. And I can see the difference with some of them, even from the first part of the semester. And then when they got the Chromebook to the second half of the semester, that, that growth is really helping them because they can express themselves. Before the Chromebooks, we would do paper and textbooks. And after the Chromebooks, we were doing everything online. It's kind of leveled the playing field. Um, it's given <laughs> those who don't have a means to have now. Um, and a lot of students who did have a lot of technology at home, a lot of them still didn't have a personal device to work on. So now the fact that they all have that, it, it has helped not just my teaching to them, but also how they work together amongst themselves. I think that, that access to this technology and knowing that the students have access to that technology has kind of changed the way that I think about my own role. I'm perhaps less of a, you know, a giver of the knowledge and perhaps more facilitator of, of the process.